Devon Lorat versus Levan Saginashvili. I think Levan is ready to win again, but perhaps it will be more difficult for him this time. Last time Devon had no chance to take any round. This time Devon has some chances, especially in later rounds, but I think Levin's chances are better. Levin will win 65%. Hermes Gasparini versus Alijan Muratov. It's a good fight. It's difficult for me to estimate who wins this match. Maybe in early rounds Hermes can win, but in later rounds I would bet on Alijan. I think it's a 50-50 match. Alex Kurdesha versus Georgi Tsvetkov. It's a close match but I would bet on Georgi only because I saw many more matches of him. I haven't seen Kurdesha with the right hand lately, but I know in previous years Kurdesha lost to Krasimir and Ongarbaev in hook and against flop wrist. Kurdesha also beat Ermis with top roll some years ago. Kurdesha's advantage is his bigger size. Michael Todd versus Frank Lamparelli. I would bet on Michael. He looks in good shape now. Stylistically, Frank is not comfortable for Michael, but I think Michael can be more powerful. Even if Michael loses his wrist, I think he will stop Frank and win from that position. David Samushia versus Nurdalet Aydarkan. It can be a close match. I would bet on Samushia because of endurance and strength, but Aydarkan could win because of explosiveness. Schoolboy versus Leonidas Arcona. Schoolboy's wrist is very strong, but he is not good at using it on the table. Schoolboy may have some difficulties because his side pressure it's not very good but he has a very good back pressure. I would bet on schoolboy. Mindaugas Tarasaitis versus Arthur Makarov. It's a great match. It's very difficult to answer who wins. Mindaugas for sure has chances. It will be a close match. Fia Raisek versus Ekaterina Nikisheva. It's difficult to say who wins. Ekaterina was many years in the top three, but not the champion. Lately, I think she has a great level. Irakli Zirakashvili versus Oleg Petrenko. Another great match. Petrenko was very dominant last time against Marcio. Irakli looked better than Petrenko against John. Irakli could open Petrenko's wrist, but I think Petrenko has more raw power and side pressure than Irakli. Petrenko wins 51%. Petro Marharint versus Nugzari Chikadze. Chikadze is very strong maybe not that big and muscular. I would bet on Marharint because I have seen many more matches of him and I know that his wrist is extremely strong. I'm not sure if Chikadze is that level. Sandris Sidis versus Ibrahim Sagov. I know that Sandris has become much stronger after 2021. His hook became very strong and he can also top roll, but I think he had an injury and he hasn't pulled for several months after he beat Pavlo. If Sandris is totally recovered, then he has some chances in a hook match. Sandris has better endurance, but I don't know if he would manage to stop Sagov. If Sandris is in his best shape, it's a 50-50 match. Talgat Aktaev versus Betkili Onyani. It's very difficult to predict this match. Maybe Talgat is 55% or 60% favorite because he is faster than Betkili, and I'm not sure if Betkili will manage to stop Talgat. Arsen Liliev versus Brandon Elsesor. I think Arsene will beat everyone in 105 kilo category, but maybe in a year or two. I think he is very professional and he will be in a good shape for April. I think Liliev will beat Brandon.